If you are hitting the open road with man's best friend, why not make sure that your cutie travels in comfort? Dr. Elisa Mazzafrero is here to talk about the do's and don'ts of traveling with our pets and how to keep our pets safe on road trips. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course. So tell us, how can we ensure that our pets will be safe in the car this summer? So three big things. One, keep them cool, keep the air conditioning on, and don't keep them uh, in a vehicle that's stopped, even with the windows down. Keep them hydrated with plenty of water, and keep them restrained and prevent them from roaming around your car. So tell, why do you think there are so many mixed messages when it comes to pet safety? So I think we see that in driving around town as well as on television and in the movies. We see a lot of pets that are sitting in the front seat of the car or on their owner's laps or sticking their head out the car window. And a lot of people don't know about pet safety and aren't aware that those practices are extremely unsafe. So even the dog's head out the window, which we see so many times, that is unsafe then? Yeah, it's a distraction for other people on the road, and it could be dangerous for flying particulate matter in the air. Could actually uh, cause abrasions on the surface of your pet's eyes. Mm. So I definitely recommend keeping your pet inside and restrained in the vehicle at all times. If you think about it, you wouldn't travel with your child in your vehicle unrestrained. Right. And so similarly, you shouldn't travel with your pet unrestrained as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So what is the safest method of driving with a pet in the car? Yeah, so Volvo has developed these pet accessories that can be installed into the safety mechanisms of the car. So for all vehicles, even if you don't have a Volvo, then keeping a barrier to prevent them from jumping from the back seat into the front seat, jumping um, around from the back of the vehicle into the road, um, keeping a cage in the back, or at minimum, putting a safety harness and then attaching it to a seat belt so they can't roam around unrestrained and distract you while you're driving the vehicle. I've seen that now. I have one for my dog, sort of a harness around my Frenchie's like uh, midsection, and then that goes into the seat belt. They're really coming up with a lot on the market to make sure that we are keeping our pets safe. Exactly, and I'm really happy that there's more awareness and there's more to keep your pet safe because a lot of people want to travel with their pets and they don't want to go on vacation without them. So I think it's up, up to us to promote pet safety and let people know where to go for more information. You're absolutely right. I mean, we're going on these trips as a family and our pets are part of our families. So where can viewers go for more information then? For more information on pet safety, I'd recommend going to volvocarspets.com. All right, perfect. Dr. Mazzafrario, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you being here. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.